Hi everyone! Right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. If Batman hadn't been there, I would be. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bad tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selina, I, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... Anyway, you're gonna read it again. This game series is adapted to the choices you make. The story is carried by how you play. Now let's see what it is. Narrator? Thank you, Andrew. Vicky Bale! The investigative journalist became Lady Arkham! You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? And Bruce Wayne knows he's in jail somehow. He sees a hole. Looks like hole. someone was angry. Lovely. <laughs> and there's some security cameras everywhere. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Bruce Wayne examines his chemistry. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. And Bruce knows he has to put it on. This can't be real. And Bruce Wayne puts on his jumpsuit. And if you put on the jumpsuit last, you'll get something else. 
moving your curls. Briefly. Okay. Better be decent. <laughs> Settled? Good. The car came. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. Do you have any idea who I am? Sure I do. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> the spoiled brat that nearly beat his replacement to death when they took away his company. And now, you're here. Exactly where you belong. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home <laughs> Time to meet your neighbors. And the neighbors came in! Tell me! And... Taser? And he gets some money for the taser. And the guard needs him dead. As you were. <laughs> you look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? <laughs> oh, he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I You're want your dead to see life. what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Appreciate the help. You're what welcome. Is he? If we don't look out for each other, we know that the guy with right? the right hair and white skin and white, with green hair. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. This psychotic we'll episode need to keep is an called eye on that. Guardian Gotham. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? I just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Dr. Leenan and John along. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. 
Pirates. I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! What? You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. You can't do something. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! Tell me. And it's Jacqueline and Freedom. Gotcha. Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Bruce, get Dr. Weenie with on their way again. With Bruce and John Doe. And... You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leon? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> and Bruce ain't kind of the band. But that man, we've had the quickest no, power to no, stop him from no, carrying the ball. You need to let me go. I have to warn the president. They're trying to kill you me. Don't the the no. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, Dumbass. Stop. And he told John. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of you. And that'd be so. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. I can handle myself. Oh, I know you can, but let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right. Commercial break. Get up! There is the remote. Yeah. The orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? I'm good. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I saw the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's just. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hey there, buddy boy. You miss me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children TV of Markham are still out there, out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there?
there. Not the right key for this. Yep. And he tried talking to the nurse station. What's your name, hey, sir? Uh, I was wondering I'm about John Pablo. Here. And and do you work well, here? Actually, yes, I was not I do. from meds either. Beat it. I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here, and he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! Get lost? We can never do that. Now what? What can you tell me about, uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah. I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Now what? Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Beat it. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... As a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much.
What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh well, you had a good run, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter In Vicky news Bale been reported after that her Vicky Bale disappearance is earlier yeah. this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Just like... Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. It wasn't me. It was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. 
She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, assume I can take care of that. <laughs> but it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, it seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that <laughs> gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. Here's the way. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? <laughs> no! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! Skin feels like it's itching. <laughs> Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Oh, ah, 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 stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> oh boy, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. John, he's the one that started the whole thing. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wayne. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. You'll have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard to believe. Dorley came in. Later. One moment. Wayne was being discharged. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alpha came in and bailed Bruce Wayne out of prison. Alfred. Ah, Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. 
You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. And they exited Bruce's cell together. John Doe, and they passed John Doe. Ask the Veils. Ask her parents. Uh, What's that about? <laughs> 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 And several hours later, a few hours later, Bruce and Alfred were on the street. 1.23 p.m. Oh, no I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And Alfred swing, swing, And all the Lady while Arkham she was, was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Yep. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. Entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Then he gets a phone call from Harvey. Then, see. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selina. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about something, huh? We're lecturing you. And who's they feel something? Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. So he hung up. And then Alfred sees a barricade in, some, in Harvey's enforcers. What's going on here? And then Bruce lowered the window. And the officer wants to talk to him. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne, you really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Huh? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Anyone see? Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? 
Not real smart. I'm tired. I am hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred. I can handle this. Oh, boy. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. They should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get oh, out of this you. mess. No more to run, dirtbag! Oh, next one won't be a warning shot! Alright, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? I like a well-funded campaign. Say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest hey, of their keep lives! Keep back if you know what's good for you! You got out in less than 48 hours. Here! Okay, and we've made off the enforcement. It's everything I have. Okay? And sure, that'll work. Alfred has to take the This isn't over. Car. Yeah, sure. Take it Joe, out to the city workshop. And then they went to Way Manor. On their way to the shop. They got to repair. Delina, the Texas Bruce Wayne. And Bruce Wayne kills something. It's a drug. Oh boy. It's gonna be an effect. This is not the Manner. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Right. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. And I don't want anyone to get rid of So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? Oh boy. Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham for that matter. Of course. And there goes That's my car. Around. And Bruce with went to the back cave with his this. butler, where Lucius is waiting. At the back cave, cave after Bruce was doing something. Yeah, not good. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down on me. Of course I'll help. And Let's start there, by good addressing the, the problem at hand. Box. Bruce, okay, you look awful. <clears throat> He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. So Lucius did, as he was told. 
If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back of you. I'll make the preparations. Asked Lucius Fox to come to the back cave several days ago. And... Checking the guard's feet. Mayor then private security waits his concern. Missing Gazette reporter, maybe Chiron of Arkham kidnapping. GCD author linked to Paco and Kelly returns to the force. Check the codex. And how far so? Got it out. Nothing is going wrong. Oh boy. Gotham City has a monster in his office. Got a sporting version of Harvey. First did his, his crusade against her into a excuse for all foreign tactics. Declared war against the children of Arkham. And now they need to find Lady Arkham. Oh boy. This is a lot of lists. This to do. We have a lot of things to put right again. She has ceased to exist. Her real name is Victoria Arkham. Vicky Bale! I knew it! Montoya is back in the fort now. Lucius is in the back cave. And Calpot and, and Vicky Bell are still at large. And I need to know who's behind all this. I'm thinking of Lady Arkham. <laughs> and let's check. Luckily, the bad computer is equipped to fabricate a counter agent. I helped design that computer, Bruce. No luck involved. You're right. I couldn't help but notice the color makeover down here. Blue suits you. I was thinking your bat suit could use a little splash of color. Blue might look good for the cape and cowl. Maybe some other time. And then they focus on the crime. <coughs> this is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. <coughs> Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Yep, and the antidote was created. And there'll be safe rest. There'll be cure. Anyone who is infected by Lady Arkham's that drug is cured. cured. After Lady Arkham is defeated. And anyway. <clears throat> Bruce Wayne grabs the antidote. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. And Bruce Wayne injects the antidote all the way in. And to the vein, and he was back to normal in no time. And they're gonna need some of that rest of the drug later, after Lady Ark is defeated. Cure the rest of the victim. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. 
Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. Oh boy. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. And then he checked the map. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface, and the ensuing light show will and make you almost impossible to track. And if you did use the grenade, you can use Perfect the battery to take Thank down you. the crap. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. But I've heard you have the stroke. Bruce. To take down yeah. The uh, if you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Batman suited up. Head to the mail show. All the way to the location. Batman arrived at the Gotham Heights. At the bell is in at 4.46 p.m. 5.46. And Batman entered the house. <sighs> I'm inside the bell house. And when, Bruce, when Batman walked in, he saw that someone killed Mr. Bell. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Uh, will do. I don't know how Alfred. this is connected to the drugs well, yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. <laughs> this seems personal. And that man with his suit checked. And he checked the neck. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are she gone. Checked her eyes. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. And Bruce checked for papers as well. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. 
Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. And... Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. By smashing it. And it was open. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Looks like a company logo. And there it was. So Batman linked everything to the crime scene, related all one by one. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. It found out that Batman connected the last clue. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Bell fully assuming the new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose, nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent... But then, a knock occurred! Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. I'm in check the kitchen. Clear. Nothing here. But they also tried to live here. Anything? Good. 
No. And then they scan the stairs where he's going to. And there was a boy. There's someone here under the stairs, alive. doing in here sir is everything all right it's a kid Alfred the boy from the photo is he all right aside from the shock and a few bruises he seems okay he might be able to tell me more about what happened uh, possibly but if that's the road you go down please do it with caution How about you come on out? No! No! Go away! Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Please! Please just leave me alone! I'm on your side. Oh boy. And then they... Before they get infected, they... The one who... Get down! Ah! Well, hello, Batman! What else? Hey! Using the mouse! to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. Weapon. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. And he found out <gasps> that the bales were dead. And he learned that the drug was dead. They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Batman! Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. Batman won't hurt me, will he? Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, <laughs> who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. And Clergy Gorgon Game came in. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Oh, let me guess. 
to investigate I'm taking over this investigation. Who commit crimes, huh? I can't risk I you allowing you go Batman into the to back contaminate end our crime scene again. Look and go get the Joe Marco. Yes, I will, Mr. Grogan. Go get Batman! And at the back cave... And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. Yep. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Yep. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Now that might be true, but I really needed you here. Without that strobe grenade of yours, I might have been toast. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. If I do anything too drastic, you'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is and it? They saw the TV! Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. <laughs> You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. And again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? So, it's Bruce time. This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through so to him. So Bruce went to the to Harvey as himself. At City Hall, 9:12 p.m. I don't Harvey know if that was the him. right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey. We need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. What happened to the guy who cared about doing the right thing? This is the right thing, Bruce. Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selina. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. 
Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. For the value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. Nah, I think I like my terms better. And Harvey was not good. I'm sorry, Bruce, but I can't back down now. I've got a lot of pressure on me right now. I've got your enemies everywhere, and strong leaders crush their enemies without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better, that I would weed out the crime and corruption. You're really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you, Harv? A new face for Gotham. And it's a face that will be remembered after what I do to the children of Arkham. What do you mean? And then they're walking and they went with ready. Do it. Yes, sir! And then the explosion What the occurred. hell did you do? And the Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Oh boy. And we lost a bunch of our own guys, the apartment next door! Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Oh boy. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? The police could have handled it. Batman could have handled it. No one had to die. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Bruce. It had to be done this way. This is not good. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. After what you've done tonight, everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really <laughs> elected mayor. And when that happens, they will turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce, this is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero mayor saves citizens from children of Arkham terror plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back, they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. You can kill him and then what the hell are you talking Wayne? about? He's All the shame you've suffered was just too oh, much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon and after you got they, out of Arkham. See, who's the enforcers that Harvey mentioned? Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. <laughs> I hope that was satisfying. That's the last one you did. And Harvey's dogs were ordered to restrain Bruce Wayne and take him to Crime Alley and kill him. Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up! Just wait a minute. Keep moving. Took Bruce to Crime Alley. I don't know how you think this is going to end, but trust me, you will regret this. Hey, he said shut up. Anyway, you cut this. This is murder. Is that what you want? This city is at war. Sometimes casualties are the cost of winning the war. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Listen to yourself. You sound brainwashed. No, he hasn't brainwashed us. We're helping him. We're doing the right thing. The mayor's the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. You're a mayor? just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... I if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. Him on the ground! 
That's the only maybe, chance uh, we need to do! Maybe he has a point. Move. Shut don't up! Do it. You just don't get it! You don't okay. understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. that has gone way, way too far. Turns he's supposedly was able trying to, to stop the children of Ark, but murder. now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city support behind him. God, the amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arca might be neck and neck on body count by this point. I just don't understand how this could happen. He's not emperor. He's just mayor. He's declared martial law. Basically, whatever he says goes, if he believes it's for the good of the city. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Dent's power comes from bending the law to work around you. Maybe you need to do the same. Hey, I swore an oath to uphold the law above all else. But you're right that with Dent changing the rules, we might need to update our playbook too. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. And Bruce went to his car and soon changed the map. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God. It's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he can smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling out to the manor as we speak, and he's not. Dent, Bruce is coming, I'll fuck him! Sir, are you alright? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. So anyway, Ruth went to Wayne Enterprises. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Later, at past midnight at Wayne Enterprises, until 1 a.m., the show of Argo took over. signal coming through, Lucius? Looks like it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. He sees the drones. There you are. And then he
Bruce Wayne take out a girl. Time to fire the new CEO. And Bruce Wayne ended up being the office. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you, you, you're all bloody useless! Pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm <laughs> taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What? Because of all those fancy gadgets? You know. I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> the children that. of Arkham That's a probably a language. City, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we can control nations. You and your plans are over, Penguin. You're going down. Wrong. This is just the start. Yeah, did he try to attack the paint? You know, Wade was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy costume. You can't stop us. Then it's Watch time to end it. Done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes. All your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. And he did! Is this how it feels when you get on the suit? I like it! Oh, 
This isn't the end, Batman! You can't stop us! It didn't have to be like this, Oswald. You should have given up when you had the chance. Give up! Oh, I've already won. Now you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I'd die before I sell out the cause. And Batman didn't care. So he decided to restrain But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her either way. Anyway, let me grab the hammer and somehow. And that was all for Penguin. And the police officers were right at me and I just didn't see. Penguin, he's upside down. What the? Penguin upside down. Just cut me down, mate. Or was caught. In a way, manner, the manner has been burnt and put in way You the body thin.